boys and girls, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Teach for Love. It's Mr. Gavis here, and I'll be sharing a cool story today that's called How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? This is the front cover of our book. It's a giant book. Oh my gosh, look how big this book is. It's bigger than my head. I think it's even bigger than Dino Dan's head. We're gonna have Dino Dan. Dino Dan, are you done brushing your teeth? I hope you are. Come on out here and say hello to the boys and girls. Yes, and he, yes, I don't, oh, oh yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, 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 oh yeah. He loves to, he loves to lick my face in the morning. Okay, stop licking my face, man, stop, stop. Okay, okay. He loves to lick my face and say hello. He's like a dog. My dinosaur is like a puppy dog and he just likes to, don't bark. Just don't bark. You don't bark. You're a dinosaur. You growl, you roar, and you do. Yeah, that's the good. Thank you. Yes. Oh, you were telling them about this book. How do dinosaurs go to school? And it's by Jane Yolen. I'm reading it backwards here. Jane Yolen and illustrated by Mark Teague. So Mark Teague did the artwork and Jane Yolen wrote the story. Let's get right into it. Bye, Dino Dan. Go back over there and clean up your room, okay? Okay, yes, he says he's gonna go clean up his room. Go clean up your room, Dino Dan. Here we go. Let's see if these dinosaurs know how to follow the rules at their school. I don't know. I think we're gonna be in for a treat here. All right, let's begin. A crazy triceratops dinosaur on top of somebody's van. How does a dinosaur go to school? Does he walk? Does he ride in a busy carpool? Does he drag his long tail? Is he late for the bus? Does he stomp all four feet? Does he make a big fuss? When he gets to the school, does he roughhouse and punch? Does he make a quick grab for a classmate's packed lunch? Oh, yeah, yeah, it looks like he's trying to steal that little girl's lunch. You see his eye? Look how his eye is looking at her lunch. He's like, oh, I'm going to get that lunch. It's going to be my lunch. She can't have no lunch. It's my lunch. And this little boy, he picked him up and he started bullying him. He's like, get over here, little, you little shrimp. I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to show you that I'm bigger and stronger than you are. Does he race up the stairs right ahead of the bell? Uh-oh, he's going to be late for class. Does he interrupt class with his own show and tell? Oh, no, no, me, 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 my turn. My turn, my turn. I want to show you my dog. Oh, no, no, move out of the way, little girl, with your little monkey or oh, little bear with her. I got a monkey and you got a bear. Get out of the way. It's my turn. I'm going to share. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, look, look, look. I got the little monkey. It's a, a, the toy. My mama gave it to me. I got it from the store. I want to. And the teacher's like, uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me, Tyrannus. Triceratops dinosaur person student, please sit down. It is not your turn to show and tell. It is the little girl's turn, and that little girl looks like Amanda. It's Amanda's turn to share. And look at Logan is in the front. Logan's like, oh my gosh, Triceratops, will you sit down, please? It's not even your turn to be talking right now. Does a dinosaur yell? Ah, my tooth! Ah, my tooth came out! My tooth! Look at those kindergartners. They look like you guys. My kindergartners look just like that. Michaela with her teeth missing. All of my boys and girls got teeth missing because they're growing up when you're like five and six years old. Your teeth start falling out. And this dinosaur's tooth came out and he's just screaming. That's why I tell you guys, when we're in class, you gotta raise your hand and wait for me to call your name. Look how upset that teacher is. She's like. She's upset. We do not yell in class. We raise our hand quietly and we wait for our turn. And when in the classroom, plunked down in his chair, does a dinosaur fidget his tail in the air? No, we're not supposed to do that. I've seen some of you guys do that. 
when we're in the middle of class, I've seen some of you guys playing in your chair. You get up and you start, you start wiggling around. You're like, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are not supposed to be getting up on your chair and on your desk and stuff like that. <laughs> so you can see the teacher's upset because the teacher wants all of his students to be safe. And if you're spinning around and climbing on your chair and your desk, you could get hurt. We don't want you to get hurt. When you grow up, though, if you want to join the circus and do all those kind of tricks and stuff, go ahead and join the circus. Does he growl during chalk talks or roar out of turn? <gasps> My turn! I want to talk! Oh, oh me, 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 me! Does he make it too hard for the others to learn? Playing his drum in the middle of art class. I don't think. It's music class. I don't think it's time to play the drums. Does he stir up the classroom by making a noise? Have you ever heard a dinosaur fart? Dinosaurs are big. That means they make big farts. By the way, boys and girls, do you remember in science class, we were learning about solids, liquids, and gas? Gas, a fart is a gas. That's why you say, did you pass gas? We'll talk more about that later. Yes, Nevea, you wanted to comment? Let me open up Nevea's microphone. You're live on the air, Nevea Mugaburu. I don't hear you. What? Your voice is low. Oh my gosh. The whole time, Nevea, or just... <laughs> It just started getting low. What's going on here? I don't know. Oh boy, let me ask somebody else. Amanda, can you hear me loud and clear? Logan, talk to me, Logan. Your, your volume is down. No way, bro, are you serious? It's up now. What? Yes. Uh, I can hear you. When I was reading your story, was, was my story super quiet? Yeah. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. If that's the case, I'm gonna get really frustrated. It's I'm... loud now. Okay, it's loud now, but if it was quiet before, that's not good. I'm gonna have to go back and check out this video for all my YouTubers out there. I'm sorry if the volume was going down. I don't know what's happening. We got some strange goings on around here, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish the story. Okay, Logan, give me a thumbs up if we're ready to continue. Let's finish this. All right, here we go. Make sure you can see that. That is one big dinosaur. Does he tease all the girls? Does he pick on the boys? No, we're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to be friends and help each other. And we drew a picture of this, didn't we, boys and girls? Yes, we did in our journals. We drew a picture of a dinosaur helping out his friends. A dinosaur carefully raises his hands. He helps out his classmates with projects they've planned. And the teacher is so happy. Look how proud she is of her little dinosaur buddy. Somebody ripped this book. And that's why there's a big giant rip in it. I had to fix it with some tape. Look at that. I used some tape to fix that up. Maybe it was a wild dinosaur that ripped this page. At recess, he plays with a number of friends and growls at the bullies till the bullying ends. So, you see, he sees some bully, a bully right there is picking on this boy. And he's like, he doesn't know that the dinosaur is right behind him, the big pterodactyl or whatever that is. He doesn't know that he's behind him. So he's like, he's like picking on the boy. He's like, he's like you better give me your money. You better give me your money because I'm the bully. I'm big and tough and strong. And you better do what I say or else. I'm going to tie your shoelaces together. And the other little boy sees his friend, the pterodactyl flying behind him. So he's like, 
I'm not worried because I know my friend, the giant pterodactyl flying dinosaur that's behind you is going to take care of you, Mr. Bully. <laughs> and the pterodactyl comes behind and goes, Greg, better let go of my friend before I pick you up and I throw you into a big giant lake of marshmallows. He tidies his desk, then he leaps out the door. All right, teacher, I love you, bye, gotta go. Good work, good work, little dinosaur. Good work, kindergarten, you read the book with me. And those are the dinosaurs from our story. Let's see if we can say the names of it, of each dinosaur. So this is, these are really hard names to say, by the way. So if I don't pronounce them correctly, I'm so sorry. Here we go. Let's give it a try, shall we? Yes, we shall. All right. So that's the Herrerasaurus. And this is the Dysungaripterus. That's the one I said was a pterodactyl, but I was wrong. It's a Dysungaripterus. This is a Stigmalock. And this is a Centrosaurus and a Monophilosaurus and a Cygnosaurus, and an Iguanodon, and a Silversaurus. This is a Diplodocus, and a Ceratosaurus. Oh my, Mr. Galbus is throat is saurus. I'm talking so much and yelling like a wild dinosaur. Thank you for reading the story. Let's go back to the title, to the front cover. How do dinosaurs go to school? Thank you for sharing this wonderful story time with me out there in Teach for Love channel. Goodbye for now. Toot -too. Toodles, everyone say goodbye. Bye, click like and subscribe. And thank you for joining me for special story hour with Mr. Galvez. <laughs>